Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I have a DIY Dollar Tree home decor video for you. We're gonna be moving at the end of the month. We bought a townhome and I wanted to get some items to decorate the house with. We're gonna be doing some plants and in one of the projects here in the DIY video is a planter with the natural rope and I got a fern for it. So I've been doing really well with keeping the one plant that we have alive and I wanna do some plants for the new place. Go ahead and comment down below your favorite DIY project from today. Our first DIY project is a really simple one. We're just painting this llama trinket holder a gold color. I'm sticking to the anthropology theme and painting a lot of my items gold. Make sure to keep your painting even and light. That way you don't have any runs through your paint. I let this part dry for a little bit and then flipped it over and finished the rest of the other side. And here's our finished product, our gold llama. This isn't a DIY, but I had to show you this adorable jewelry box. I felt it was anthropology inspired as well, so I just wanted to show you for a dollar how cute this was. Our next project is a flower picture frame. All you need is a glue gun, a candlestick, and a picture frame shaped as a flower. I popped off the back of this picture frame just so it wasn't all bulky. Go ahead and get your glue gun warmed up so you can get this picture frame on top of the candlestick. Take your glue gun and put glue on each side of the candlestick. I flipped this candlestick over so I'm using the bottom side of it. Go ahead and put a little bit more glue than I put on here so that your picture frame sits securely on top of it and doesn't pop off. I added a little bit more glue at the end just so that it stays on there for me. I didn't have enough originally. And here's the finished product of the picture frame flower. Now it's time to do a little spray painting. Go ahead and do light sprays slowly. I did mine a little bit quick, so make sure you do it slow and take your time. If you have to do more coats, you can. I picked this gold color to stick with the anthropology theme, but this will be so cute in so many different colors. I was even thinking of a coral or a light blush color that would be so cute in my daughter's room. I'm giving it a couple touch-up sprays at the end, and here is the finished product. This project is a vintage inspired bowl just to put some decor items in. I got this water balloon launcher toy just to use this piece for the bottom base of the bowl. I wanted to have it lifted up a bit. You can either do that or not, whether you like it or not. You can leave it just as it is and just paint it. But I wanted a lifted look on it, so I got these and put these on the bottom of it. I originally had the more narrow part of this turned down but it wouldn't hold the bowl properly and especially with any weight in it it wouldn't have held it so I turned them around so the fatter part was holding the bowl I had to put extra glue because it wasn't sticking very much so go ahead and put extra glue to make these things stick and hold especially if you're going to be putting something inside of it go ahead and flip it over and make sure it's completely evened out and level when you sit it on top of the table I know this looks hideous right now, but let's throw some paint on it and it'll really pop once everything is the same color. Make sure all of your painting is even and light. If you have to do it a couple times, go ahead and take the time to let it dry and do a second coat if you need to. Here is our vintage inspired bowl and to complete the look, I went ahead and got some flowers and twine and placed it inside the bowl. Next is the planter DIY. I used this rope twine from Walmart for $4.97. It's quite a bit, so it'll last for a lot of different crafts. The planter I got from the Dollar Tree store for a dollar. The fern I also got from Walmart for $12.88. And I used the Krylon Color Master spray paint to paint the planter white. I want to start off by doing multiple light coats of the spray paint. 
I got a little impatient and tried to get everything done in one coat and it got a little runny so I had to blot up my drips and let it dry and come back and do a couple of other different coats. This is what the finished result looked like. I didn't worry too much about the inside of the planter and how it looked just because the fern is going to be inside of it. You can use the original string as your guide or you can go ahead and cut off however much you want. We went ahead and did 13 and a half feet because we wanted ours a little bit longer. We have a larger fern so we wanted to give it plenty of room. You'll want to run your string through the planter just like the original was in through the holes. That way you can get it even once you get them through. I'm having my husband help me out because it was way too hard for me to be able to do this and film it at the same time. So he's going to show you how to get all the string even just like the original was. You're going to want to go ahead and pull the loops down to the desired length. There's going to be two loops and the two end pieces that you're going to have that are going to combine together in the end. If you're wanting yours to be the same size as ours, the combined amount right here with the tape measure, we wanted it to be two feet, approximately two feet, with them all combined. And then we flipped it upside down with our two end pieces exposed. Make sure you get it even. We did a lot of adjusting right here getting all of our ropes even and make sure it's all balanced. Right here we're just showing you how long our end pieces were on the tape measure. One was a little bit longer than the other and my hubby is going to take over on the voiceover as he winds up the twine and shows you how to do the knots. Again, once you have your two long ones, create your loop, grab the shorter of the two and double it up. You can go you know, however you want to do that, as long as there's a loop down here and you've got your hook there and you can pinch these and then take your other solo and start as high as you can to where you still have a loop and you start twisting around. And the tighter, the better. And I'm on five, three, four, five, let's just go six. Then you loop that through that loop there and then try to keep these knots nice and tight while you pull this. You can let go of this loop here. You pull this and it will cinch that rope that you pulled through. It will cinch that tightly can't see it and so then what you can do is bring this through here to tie your knot so it doesn't back up out of it and with the twine sometimes it can get frayed there you go and then just you can scooch that knot down by bringing it down like that now that can't be pulled back up. This one here, it's pretty secure, but one of the things you can do is bring it down one, two, and then maybe through itself on the second time around to lock that one in. And once that's locked in, you can cinch it. And then why not tie? this one as well into a knot I wouldn't cut too far close to the knot so it doesn't unravel I would come about a quarter of an inch away on both We have our knot completely done and it's nice and balanced, ready for our fern. 
Our fern officially has a new home. I'm so excited that we were able to do this DIY together and soon it will be hanging in our new home. This is the finished result of our DIY planter. I hope you enjoyed this DIY Dollar Tree video. I enjoyed doing this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more future videos.